Right, so in this video I'm going to go over how to query XML in SQL Server and I'm going to go over most of the expressions that are very common to 80 to 90 percent of the work you're going to do querying XML within SQL Server. So I'm going to get started here by creating this temp table. So I've created a table that has XML data type and this XML data type is going to hold this type of structured XML that is going to be um, a series of years within a years node and it's going to within each year it's going to have games, touchdowns, yards and uh, the quarterback rating so let me execute this here to create the table so I've created the table and I've declared a data type of XML and I'm going to start inserting the XML. So here is my declaration for the XML and you'll notice I'm just doing a typical insert here and I'm going to insert two rows in my demo. So here's the first row with this series of XML and the player that I'm inserting is Dan Marino. These these are fake stats, by the way. Um, my second pair of XML is a series of two years of data, and it's uh, for Peyton Manning. So let me execute these two statements. And once again, I'm just declaring a data type of XML, constructing the XML as a string here, and then inserting it just as any normal insert statement that you're familiar with. So I've inserted two rows and you'll notice uh, the way I'm inserting it is I, I do have stats variable declared as XML then I'm setting the string of the XML and then within the where the data type is XML I'm inserting the variable here during the insert. So if I select my entire table here you'll see the two rows and, and if I click on the XML it brings it up here so for Dan Marino there's four years of statistics and for Peyton Manning here there's two years of statistics and so uh, the example I want to show is um, the type of expressions that you're going to use 80-90% of the time and it should be sufficient for a lot of the queries you're going to do. So I'm, I'm going to run this and then I'm going to explain each column that I've selected. And, and actually I'm going to run this together. So you see the first query here. This is simply the entire table and this is actually the query that I have over here. So you notice the first thing I'm selecting is the player name and the player names here. The second thing I'm selecting here you notice this query keyword and this query keyword returns the data type of XML. So what I'm what I'm doing here as this comment demonstrates is I'm selecting a node a single uh, year node that is a uh, that, that matches this expression which is the state year uh, attribute the start year attribute has to be 1985 so you'll notice for Dan Marino it will actually return this node because the state year here matches 1985 whereas for the data Peyton Manning there is no 1985 node there is no match so you'll notice here is a null so that's that's the f uh, second column here. That's what this does. Now this third expression here is uh, matching on an attribute and then returning a node. Well, th this actually returns the attribute itself. So it's matching on the attribute 2011, and it's returning the attribute. So you'll notice for Dan Marino there is no 2011 because all, all of the years are in the 1980s. 
But for Peyton Manning, there is a 2011. So you'll notice why this is null and this is not null. So, um, you know, so here's how you return an attribute. The third example here is returning the text or the actual value of the node itself. So what I am returning here is matching the year 2011 and then getting the text of the yards at attribute, I mean the yards node. So once again, you'll notice Dan Marino's null because there is no 2011 that matches. However, for uh, Peyton Manning statistics, you'll notice it gets this node and it goes for the value of yards, which is here. So that's, that's what this expression is. And the fourth example is getting a node where a sibling node matches something. So here I'm, I'm getting the ratings node where the sibling node of touchdown matches 48. So you'll, you'll notice if I look at Dan Marino stats I'm looking for the touchdown node of 48 here and I'm getting this value uh, I'm getting the ratings node here so you'll see a touchdown that matches 48 and return the node ratings and you'll notice that's 108 which is what I have here touchdown of 48 ratings 108 whereas for painting Peyton Manning, there is no such uh, node here, so it returns null. So that's null. So that's the fourth or fifth example. Fourth example. The fifth example is actually getting a count of the nodes. So I'm, I'm trying to count the number of year nodes. And you'll notice for Dan Marino, it's uh, four and four. Peyton Manning, it's two. And if you look at this, there's four nodes here of year. And for Peyton Manning, there's two nodes here of year. So that's uh, the, the basic selection criteria that y you'll run into a lot of these scenarios a lot is selecting the attributes, uh, selecting the node value, selecting sibling nodes based on the value of other sibling nodes. Um, the other thing is the WHERE clause here. And the WHERE clause here, I'm, I'm actually selecting only rows where the rating, the value of the node rating is 84.1. And you'll notice both, both um, rows are returned here because it just so happens that both nodes have something where it's 84.1. You'll notice here's the 84.1, and here's another 84.1 for Peyton, uh, for Dan Marino, and for Peyton Manning, there's another 84.1. But suppose I change it to something else. So suppose I change it to 96. I, I believe if if you look at Dan Marino, he has no 96, so it should only return one row be because uh, only Peyton Manning has the 96 here. So I will change this to 96.0 and show you that it only returns one row. And you'll notice it only returns one row, which is the Peyton Manning row. Let me change it back here to 84.1 run it and it returns both rows uh, so so this is selection criteria which, which is much like what is here what is up here except the keyword is exist now you, you can actually get the value like you do up here the values and just do a simple compare so for example, I'm doing a count of the number of years and if you remember Dan Marino has four years and Pete Manning has two years. But here I'm simply saying get all rows where 
there, uh, the node count is greater than 1, but suppose I say it's greater than 2, then only one row is going to get returned, which is the Dan Marino row. Or if I say less than 3, then only Peyton Manning row is going to get returned. So, um, you know, I, I guess that's a fairly basic demo of what you'll be able to do uh, with just these simple, these five, six, seven simple things that you see on this screen here will allow you to query for probably 80, 90 percent of the things you do in a SQL Server uh, with regards to querying XML within SQL. So, all right, I hope this helps. Uh, thank you for watching.